What is up lads, it is the Midnight Kid here and we are back with another eFootball 2022 gameplay video. The players are coming into the dress rooms, they're checking their last few minutes messages, checking their WhatsApp. Yeah, I'll text you later love, I'm going in to play a match. Neuer is putting on his gloves, there's a couple of handshakes going around, the boys are getting ready for it, the tunes are blaring out on Spotify and we're nearly ready to kick off. But yeah, a lot of people have been asking me about the AI and about the stunning shot and about the team press. So if you haven't checked out my other two videos, check them out. Uh, but this I'm going to kind of focus on the AI because all these gameplay clips you're going to see for the first five, six minutes of this video are going to be against the AI on the low difficulty, the regular difficulty um, that is in the media playtest build that was released a couple of weeks ago. So all these captures are, you know, user versus the regular AI. The regular AI is exactly what it says on the tin. I mean, if you're not being able, if you're an average Pez player, you should be smashing regular AI. Yeah, you can get caught in the odd break. You can get caught like with the odd free kick or penalty or corner by conceding a goal that way. Yeah, and I'm sure that that can happen. But for all intents and purposes, like the regular AI is going to let you have the ball. They're not going to press you that high up. They're not going to put massive pressure on you. They're not going to be able to dribble through you and score bangers. You know, they're going to be patient. They're going to take their time. They're going to like maybe have one or two decent chances per game. Uh, but that's why I think top player and superstar has been the, the choice uh, for most offline players over the last couple of years. So it is very hard to judge based on this regular AI difficulty um, because the grading and the scaling of the difficulties as they go up is going to be very different, I think. You know, you can just see that there's a lot of common mistakes that the team is making, that if you were playing 1v1 or player versus player, such as Dream Team or Online, which we'll cover at the tail end of this video, you're not going to really make mistakes like this because, well, you might under pressure, but there's no real pressure here. It's just because the AI is, like, obviously the lower difficulty. Now, the one thing I will say is that even though there's a lot of chances being given, Marathi gets the ball up here and he says, not the one that gives it back, but even though there's a lot of chances coming from the lack of like energy and lack of attention or lack of anything from the AI at this difficulty, it's still very few and far between where you get chances. And then on the odd chance, they can get good chances too. We'll see like this one here. We're going to have one coming up in a, in a minute as well, which is a long range drive from the AI. But most notably, you're still going to be conceding and scoring goals, I think, from like standing off to the opponent and having that split second on the ball with a good player as is real football you know and Lewandowski can't believe his luck there he just gets backed up on and he just blasts it through with a stunning shot now people have asked me whether I think the stunning shot is going to be OP um that remains to be seen I think that there's a lovely balance between the gameplay clips I've seen so far and some of the stuff I've analyzed check out the other videos if you haven't already a link in the description below but I think here I mean look you're playing against the AI you stand off, the ball goes through his leg, so he sees it late. Chesney, it does get beaten from that position, but obviously Lewandowski is going to rattle at home. He's probably the best striker in the game based on the ratings and stuff like that. So I'm not too concerned with that. And as you see, as the videos like play on and the clips play on, there's a lot of chances where shots are over or under hit. Like you can see here, this is a power driven shot in here. It's intercepted. It resets back to Hernandez. Hernandez takes a really bad touch, gets it under control. If you're playing online, you're not going to have that time in the ball, swings it back in and then the finish in off the ground. That's a beautiful finish there. You'd never see something like that in PES 2021 well, definitely not not, not frequently. Um, I know that you would be able to do some of that stuff on manual, but there just seems to be a lot more of an organic flow between the matches and the shots and the chances and attack to defense. There's a lot of interceptions. There's a lot of bobbles. There's a lot of this and that. And I just think that it flows a lot better. And as you can see here, I mentioned this earlier. This is an AI on regular difficulty taking a long range shot. Yeah, it's not the most impressive, but at least it's been tried. You know, at least they're they're kind of the coding is saying, okay, well, I'm after getting some space. There's a stunning shot being saved by the keeper, so it's not an autom automatically a goal like some people have been saying. There's a shot there, just dragging wide. So I do think that there is a bit of a a bit of a nice balance there between it. Obviously, they'll tweak that as time goes on. A lovely first time shot there. And then out wide, um, you know, Juventus are going to play it back in. But listen, I think where this game is going to be judged is in three days time when Dream Team actually comes out, right? We're going to see how people are playing this online and how people are actually attacking and defending. And like, 
that's why you need a game to be super responsive online because you don't want to be fighting for control with your your team or your players and i'll show you at the end of this clip there's a couple of uh or the end of this video that's a lovely stunning shot there i'll show you at the end of this video there's a couple of videos and a couple of clips from the japanese guys geki sakas their video that they put up we're going to analyze that this is another one here a little step over swinging in the licked won't want to see that again it's shocking defending but again pedri with the beautiful run in and I think, look, as much as we like to kind of say that, oh, I just want to play online, I want to play a good football match, I want to be evenly matched, like majority of people that play online want to win, you know, they want to dominate and they want to be the best that they can be playing against similarly uh, rated players or similarly skilled players. You want to challenge, you know, you don't want to be playing against the AI, which is limited no matter how good AI is in a game, NBA 2K, FIFA, any game, any sports game or any game in the world, like there does be a unique challenge playing against an online opponent. There's just so many variables when you're playing against an online opponent that it is going to be a lot more exciting and everyone wants to win, you know, so you will be playing certain ways. This is a beautiful chance there, but again, a miss with the stunning shot. Now, one of the biggest things that I'm going to look at talking about Dream Team then and on about that, everyone trying to win and stuff, is that there needs to be a very good skill gap and a balance between risk reward. We're going to have a look at this extended clip here. We're going to like draw, drag it out a little bit to break it down in minute detail. But you can see here, look at the gap at the back. And I think it's Lindelof. It's hard to tell from the angle here, but Lindelof is going to just come over with the teammate press. You see the little arrows between them? Don't worry if you missed him. You can see him here. I'm going to pause it again here in a second. You can see that Busquets is being controlled by the player. And then the, obviously the teammate press with the little green, little kind of dash arrows underneath him is the teammate press, right? So the user's controlling Busquets. The teammate pressure is being coming on by an extra player. And then the shot is into the bottom of the corner. Again here, we're going to highlight this back again. You can see the same clip reversed. We're just going to slow it down a little bit more, right? Here's the gap. The player should be going back there. Obviously, Luke Shaw has been under control of the player by the user. He's going to try and tuck back in, but the teammate press is coming from Lindelof or Varane. I'm not too sure. I can't see from this angle. I'm a bit far from the screen, but whatever the center back is there, the teammate press. He comes out. He doesn't get punished for it because they get the ball back really easily and really well. And on the flip side, this is the risk reward when it doesn't work. You've got Busquets tracking back. And then you're going to come across here with the secondary player. You can see the arrow here. You can see the two little green fast forward uh, dash arrows coming forward to signal that this is the player that's being controlled by the teammate press or the team pressure. Comes out, makes an absolute hames of it, leaves the overlap come from Telus, who doesn't get picked up. It goes back in and recycled again. And in fairness, it is a first time pass and a first time finish that you can't really stop. I think that that's where the skill gap is going to come in from eFootball 22 this year, especially with Dream Team. So yeah, lads, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want me to go into any more detail on anything, let me know in the comments below. I think it can be summed up as we have three days left to wait and then it all hell breaks loose or all the light breaks loose because I think that when you go into the madness of Dream Team and the madness of online, that's when we're really going to see what this game is made of and how people are playing it, what's been rewarded, what's been punished. Is there a skill gap there? I think based on these clips, I think there is. And a couple of the clips I signaled there or highlighted there, I definitely think that there is a skill gap there. But yeah, let's see. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video, lads. Let me know if you want any more before Thursday. Until then, peace.